we're revealing the great Monty Othello song, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome. I'm Akram Tagavi Burris, and you're watching Akram's Ideas, bringing creative and crazy ideas to life. This episode is all about the great module so long, which has been hosted by Whitney from Tomcat Citry and Carla from Carla Mayfield 5 over on Instagram. And they both have YouTube vlogs where they've been sharing their um, great module uh, sew along pieces and everything. And today is actually the last day of the challenge. And I wanted to share the pieces that I made as part of the great module sew along. So without further ado, let me just give you a quick look at all the pieces that I put together for this module.
pieces as part of the great bundle so long let me go into detail about how I planned this all out and how it turned out so the first piece that I made uh, let me just take the cardigan off here uh, this is the Uvita top from itch to stitch it's a free pattern I made this in early January and this is just a cotton jersey with a slightly lighter weight cotton jersey for the color blocking on the sleeves and I fell in love with this but I don't really have a lot of navy in my wardrobe so I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this top or how I was going to wear it and then that's when I heard about the great module so long and thought this would be a great starting piece to use for that module. So I looked through my patterns, and if you recall from my plans video, I said I was going to use New Look 6875, which is this pattern here. I wanted to make the top, the longer pants here, and the pencil skirt. And I kinda did. Let's start with the, the pants. So these are the pants from the new look pattern. As you can see, I used the same navy uh, cotton jersey as the sleeves from the Uvita top, and I had very little bit of that um, stripey fabric left that I put it as the pocket for this. Now, this these pants did not come out how I anticipated. They have they have a fold over elastic band for for the top, and it just they were so huge, so huge, that when I put the elastic, it just squinched up so badly. And you were supposed to fold over this top, which meant the pocket was itty. I mean, it wasn't even a full-size pocket at that point. It was itty-bitty. And you wouldn't have even seen, like, maybe one stripe. So that detailing I put in there was pointless at that point. And it basically gave it, like, a paper bag waist, which I do not like. So I undid that and I decided to use the waistband from the BB skirt in Tilly's uh, stretch book for this. Now I've run into this problem before where the the amount of stretch if the amount of stretch in your fabric is way too much or doesn't recover well it's still it's still too loose so I had to bring this in oh probably a good six inches around the waist just so that it could set right it's still fairly loose I'm thinking these are kind of like yoga pants I mean they're just very loose they kind of go down a little bit throughout the day I'm, I'm just wearing them as sort of my homebody pants um, but I was kind of let down and I knew that if I made the skirt, the skirt was going to have the same problem because it's the same construction, the same fold over elastic and, and it was going to be too big and I didn't want to do that. Um, so the skirt, um, that I wore in the lookbook is actually a ready to wear skirt that I had in my wardrobe. So I had that, have had that navy skirt for good, oh gosh. <laughs> probably 10 years now and that skirt I typically only ever wear it with white or red because I don't have really any other navy but obviously now I, I have this navy top here and and of course the top that I'm wearing so the top that I'm wearing which is this beautiful um, fruit print and I don't know if you can get how lovely this print is I've had this fabric and this is another cotton jersey in my sash forever, forever. Because I only had very little bit of it and I didn't know what quite to make. But I decided I was going to use the new look pattern to make this top. And I'm glad I did because I love the top. I also like the construction of that particular pattern because it has a back seam. And that allowed me to be able to cut this um, with this small amount of fabric. So there is a back seam on here. It's it's not it's hardly noticeable. Um, the other thing that I liked about this pattern is that it does not have uh, um, obviously any darts, but it has some lovely gathering here around the neckline, which I think makes it a really good fit around the bust. Um, I will say a couple of things that I'm not thrilled about. First off. I did just a small turnover on the 
on the sleeve for the hem, which is what it, it has you do. But I find that it, it still kind of rolls so you can see the stitching or the serging on the other side. And also, I feel like the sleeves are just ever so slightly tight like they're they're not uncomfortable but they could they could loosen up a little bit more um also well i do like the cap sleeves um it would have been nicer if it had a long sleeve option for this particular top uh but i'm okay with it i like the short sleeves my biggest issue with this is while i really like the gathering i'm concerned that this is just a little too low um it's lower than most of the tops that I have in my wardrobe. And if I'm not too careful, you can kind of see my bra, bra straps occasionally um, if I don't make sure that they're setting further out. So while I like this style and I like the construction of this top, I'm not sure if I want to make more because I'm just worried that the, that the neckline is just too low. And to wear a neckline like this, I feel like I need a necklace. I need something here um, to cover this pasty whiteness uh, that I have right here. So I'm not sure. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below what, what you think of this. So that was my experience with the New Look 6875. So I made the pants, I made the top. I was iffy about both of them. I'll probably always love this top simply because the fabric is so fantastic. I'm not sure if I want to make more. And again, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make the skirt or anything else. So I kind of moved on from there. I had in my plans already planned to make this cardigan, which is out of this um, sort of loose sweater knit. This is, of course, is a Blackwood cardigan from Helen's Closet. I love this. It came together super quick and I tried to match up the stripes and everything was moving. The net was kind of rolling. I was having problems, but in the end... To see more episodes like this, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to Akram's Ideas, and hit the bell icon to get notified of new episodes. And I, I matched up the stripes fairly well. The stripes on the uh, front band here. If we move over um, on the side, it all matches up. Uh, the only things that don't match up is when you get to the bottom band. Um, they don't quite match up and some of the stripes on the sleeve don't quite match up on the under sleeve. But uh, you'll never notice, like unless I raise my hand up, you'd never notice that those stripes don't match. On the whole, on the places that it counts, it all matched so I was extremely extremely happy with that I will say I've never made the Blackwood cardigan before until now and I absolutely love it I plan to make many more this is the long view version a which I knew I wanted to make because I wanted to basically use up all of this uh, fabric for it um, I had very little bit amount of fabric so for the sleeves themselves I had to cut away about an inch off the sleeves just to be able to uh, fit the sleeve pattern on there and then I added the cuff and as you can see I kind of rolled up the cuff because it's a good thing that I actually got rid of that inch because the sleeves are still a little big they just hang ever so slightly down now for a cardigan that's fine uh, but had I included that extra inch I think it would have been even too too long so I like I like the length that it ended up being. Now this is a loose weave sweater knit, so I was concerned about lettucing on the on some of the sewing, and I actually got a little bit of lettucing. There's that wave when you sew um, on the on the bottom band here a little bit, but to kind of prevent that, and it actually worked out really really well, is that I sewed the whole whole thing on my serger. And then I top stitched it on my sewing machine. But what I did when I sewed it on the serger is on the top layer here as it was going through the, the top foot of the serger, I just put tissue paper down. And I have a lot of, well, in my case, a tracing paper that I buy for, for tracing patterns. And so whenever I trace the patterns, I have all the scrap left over and that I've been saving. So I just cut the scrap into long strips and set it right on top as I sewed the seams. And that prevented it from doing any kind of wavy stuff on the serger. It wasn't until I got to my sewing machine and I top stitched the band and I didn't use it 
Um, I thought because I had a walking foot I was going to be okay, but it did create a little bit of wave down there. I think I might be able to press it out, but overall I am in ecstatic with this sweater top and how well it came out. The last topper that I made as part of the great module so long is another Uvita top. And this one I capped with the cap sleeves. And I made this one in a slightly lighter weight cotton jersey. And this one again has been in my stash for quite a while. I didn't have a whole lot of it. And that is why I chose to do the shorter sleeves. I really like the look of it. I really, I really love the Uvita top because I like the neckline. I like that boat neckline. Having said that, I feel like it gapes a little bit on me. Um, the, the navy one almost a little bit more than this one. And that's simply because I didn't do the facing quite right on the navy one. And I had to go back and fix it. And so this one I did correctly. Uh, but I feel like if I could just pinch it in ever so slightly it would have a better fit around the neckline and wouldn't gape as much as I feel it does. It's, it's wearable. I like it. I, I just feel it gapes ever so slightly in the front. Um, but I, I, I just think I like this neckline more than this neckline. I'm, I haven't decided. Again, I'd like to hear your comments below. Um, the other little thing, this one is, a, like I said, a lighter weight, so I'm having some rolling issues on the hem. I just did a, a, a really small fold over hem. I think I need to do a slightly larger hem so that it doesn't roll. Um, I don't really have any rolling problems on the sleeves. I like the cap sleeves. Um, I can't say enough great things about the Uvita top. I like the fit. Um, it's all really, really nice. It's it's just a really nice pattern, and it's a free pattern, so I would encourage you to check this pattern out. Uh, so, I plan to have more Uvita tops in my future simply because I like the look of them so much. Now, the very last item um, in the Great Module So Long that I uh, made, which was completely unplanned. So, all of the other items were planned in my sewing plans. But having made the um, New Look 6875 pants and realizing they weren't really going to meet my needs and kind of for going on the skirts to use the ready-to-wear skirt I thought you know I really want to make another bottom for this module but what am I gonna make and everything and I really just needed some nice slacks to wear to work and I just hadn't had those in my wardrobe and for a long time now I've had a Simplicity 8243 setting on my sewing table waiting for me to make and this is a retro uh vintage pattern from the 40s that has a top and a pair of pants and so i said okay i'm gonna make the pants so for this i was trying to figure out what would be the best fabric and i ended up finding this navy in my sash again to kind of go with the module this is a simply a um i would say it's a very a very low stretch Ponty. Um, it's a, definitely a polyester. It gets quite warm in it. Uh, but I would say that it's about Ponty weight. And I um, made the uh, pattern pretty much as is with a few caveats. So the first thing that I did is that I included belt loops on the pattern. When I first did the test fit, I, I knew that the pants were a little big. I believe I did a size 18 for the hips and the waist was a little big by a few inches and I brought in the pants about about two inches I want to say two or three inches I brought it in on the side seams and that helped but I felt like if I am to lose any more weight that they would be instantly too big again so I added belt loops the other thing that I did is I moved the back zipper to the side and I think I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> I put it on the right side and I think I needed to put it on the left side but regardless it's on the side so uh, I don't like back zippers and I thought it would look better on the side. Having said that there are supposed to be side seam pockets in here 
and I was planning to put the pockets in when I basted it up to do a test fit and my husband said that it looked really really slimming and he was afraid that the pockets in the same fabric would make it look a little clunky and so I kind of agreed with him and I um forgo the pockets. I hope I don't come to regret that um, for going those side seam pockets, but I really am happy with how these pants turned out. Um, they've got uh, some darts here on the front and a few little pleats on the back. They're a wide leg, obviously, and I must say I've been wearing them to death. Seriously, I've wore them several times since making them, and I absolutely love them. So I definitely plan to make more of those slacks for work. Um, I just am very, very happy and pleased how they came out. And they're super comfy because they, they are made of a ponty and they're just um, really nice. The only, the only issue I have is that it is a polyester fabric. So I do get quite warm in them. So it's not something you'd want to wear um, in the summertime, but for winter time, they are perfect. So, in the end, having gone through the great module so long, what did I learn? I learned that I kind of liked this process because now I have these pieces that I can kind of mix and match and, and wear um, together, so that's a plus. I also learned that I kind of got bored. Um, the, the challenge was a three month long challenge, so it went from like January something to, to today, March 24th. Um, but I kind of got bored halfway through. Like, yeah, I got this plan to make this and that, but I made some other stuff um, completely randomly in between um, that were totally different colors, had nothing to do with any of this. And um, I don't know, I think it's because I always kind of get bored. Like I can make all these plans and if I don't do them right away, I kind of get bored bored with those plans and also when things don't turn out quite right I get a little bit like oh do I want to continue like with those pants I was sitting there like oh do I want to continue with these plans because those pants didn't turn out right at all and again like I said obviously I changed up the plans because I didn't make the skirt because of how the pants turn out. So I did some other things and I had a good look in my closet. I had sort of a spring clean out in my closet to see what I had. And that's when I remembered I do have a navy skirt in my closet. I just don't wear it all that often. But now I have some lovely tops to wear it with. And I think my favorite, I mean, obviously I've worn all these items quite a lot, but my favorite is probably the cardigan. Um, simply because it came out so well, so well, and I'm so happy with how that turned out. I believe I cut a straight 16 with no alterations, just to, I just went head on and like, let's do it, and it fit perfectly. So I'm really, really happy. I would say that the sleeves fit, but they're a little snug, uh, so I can't necessarily wear it over something that's got like a thick sleeve or anything on it. So if I wanted to make it more of a cardigan that could go over like a, a, a long sleeve top or something, I might have to do a full bust adjustment, but otherwise the pattern fits perfectly. So um, those were my overall thoughts about the uh, great module so long. And I think moving forward, I'm going to attempt to try to sew in modules. This is not something new. Um, lots of people have been doing it. Obviously, um, Whitney from Tomcat Surgery has been making little modules. Um, some of my favorite module sewing is from Emily Hallman um, over on Instagram. She does some lovely collections where they all kind of have the same color schemes and stuff. They're not necessarily mix and match always because sometimes the collection is just a bunch of dresses, but they all kind of go together. And I love, I love Emily Hallman's wardrobe. I just, I love it. And, um, I would love to have a wardrobe like that. So I think what I'm going to try to do is to attempt to to set goals in sort of a module sewing setup. Uh, will I follow those plans? I don't know, but we're gonna try. That's kind of my uh, thoughts moving forward. So as we move into uh, 
kind of late spring now, I'm going to kind of come up with some sewing plans and what I would like to make for my next module. I would love to hear in the comments below if you participated in the great module so along and what you made or if you have any suggestions or thoughts about module sewing in general. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Ackham's Ideas and thanks for watching. And I come, already come across, let me, let me do this all over again. This one is a little bit lighter weight. Um, the next few things that I had on my plant. <laughs>